the 49ers hosted the Detroit Lions, and the Lions turned out to be rude guests. Before this game, the 49ers lead the league in this department, dumping the passer. Today, Mr. Brody was the one harassed. Mike Lucci and company dropped in on Brody more than often and literally shut out the 49er offense. The constant pressure led to four intercepted passes. Mike Lucci took this misfired bullet for 31 yards and the Lions' first score. The Lions came to play offense, too. Led by number 14, Carl Sweetan, Detroit moved almost at will on its first drive. The drive wasn't all Sweetan, however. Number 89, Gail Cogdell, played havoc with a 49er secondary, too. On this well-executed bootleg, Sweetan had clear sailing to the 49er 12. Three plays later, rookie Mel Farr punched over for the score. Lions 14, 49ers nothing. The Brody to Parks brand of excitement is unmatched out west. Super Threat Parks helped set up what was to be the 49ers' only score, a three-pointer by Tommy Davis. At the half, it's Lions 14, 49ers 3. The third quarter was barely underway when Mel Farr went through what appeared to be no hole at all. Inside or outside, Mel Farr runs with equal authority. A 26-yard Yepremian field goal makes it Lions 17, 49ers 3. Things went from bad to worse for San Francisco. League interception leader Lem Barney picked off this Brody aerial and returned it 19 yards. The Lion offense capitalized quickly. Sweet hand to Jim Gibbons is good for 11 yards. This sets up Tom Nowatzki over right tackle for the score and a 24-3 lead. The fourth quarter began with Mike Lucci's second interception of the day, but a roughing the passer penalty nullified his effort. Neither penalty flags or his offensive line could save Brody on this stampede. The Lions force the fumble and are set up in 49er territory again. Tom Nowatzki swings out of the backfield and rumbles 19 yards for the Lions' 31st point. The Lions' freight train offense rolls on. Sweet hand to Amos Marsh is good for 22 yards. Watch pulling rookie guard number 63, Chuck Walton's devastating block, Spring Marsh, for the Lions' 38th point.
Heisman Trophy winner Steve Spurrier enters the fray and learns fast that his All-America credentials mean nothing to his opponents as Dick LeBeau intercepts. The Lion bench is cleared and reserve running back Bobby Phelps zips up the middle for 18. Phelps next follows Walton again to the five. A clipping penalty sets the Lions back, but Phelps retaliates immediately. Sweetan legs the last five yards as only the clock stops the Lions at 45 to 3, their biggest victory of this year.